Hello everybody, today I'm here to show you FreeCD Max 2020 working with Kiedra 2020. So that's the new version of Kiedra. It is not yet released. It will be available day one with FreeCD Max 2020 uh, release date. So I'll be showing you today uh, what we've been working on. So uh, the first things we've been working on is the speed. Um, it's really faster. And um, the second thing is that uh, we now have a uh, new Kiedra logic, which makes uh, everything easier to, to use. So here I use a small utility. Uh, every time I press something on my keyboard, you see the key I press on my keyboard in the screen. So if I double tap the J key, you see the J with number two. If I single tap J key, you see with the one. And if I triple tap, you see the number three. So uh, here I will just show you the power of Kiedra uh, shortcut uh, with the new logic. So I will only use the K key. So if I have nothing selected uh, like here, I can create a plane. If I delete it and I double tap the K key, I have a box. I can add segments with wheel control. So if I hold shift, uh, it's the Z axis. If I hold control, it is the X axis. And if I hold Alt, it is the Y axis. But I will delete it now. So I create a box. Now I have a object selected. And if I press the K key, I can turn it to gray. If I double tap the K key, I can turn it to red. So now I will press Control K key and I just turn it to editable poly. I can go to edge and uh, if I select just one edge, no, if I select some edges and press the K key, it will connect. With will control, if I hold control and scroll, I can add segments. And if I hold alt, I can slide. And if I hold shift, I can pinch. So I will delete this for now. Um, now I will go to face mode. And if I'm in face mode and I press shift K key, I can extrude. If I select an edge and I control shift K key, I can chamfer and I can add segments like this with holding control and crawling. And if I hold the shift, I can pinch. So this is my own um, Kiaidra profile. So it is not available with the release, but you can use whatever you want and do your own uh, things. But I, I'm here to show you that I'm just using the K key. So Alt Shift K key will inset. Uh, what can I show you? Alt K key will collapse. So what can I show? Uh, if I have one edge, one edge selected, and I uh, do Alt Shift K, add a vertex, a vertex in the middle of the edge, and uh, if I Control K key, it activated the pain connect, and I can pain connect like this. So as you can see, the, the power uh, is really, uh, really, really great. And um, yeah, we can do a lot of things with uh, Kiedra and uh, the way it works. So for example, another thing, if I delete a polygon and I'm in border mode and do Shift K, So this is just an example. So I was just using the K key. And um, in fact, the K key is assigned to my uh, mouse button, thumb mouse button. So I just press, and in the context I am, uh, I trigger the, the action I need. So that was the first thing I wanted to show you. So we do have better speed. As you can see, it is almost immediate. 
uh, Autodesk did uh, great work uh, with it. So now if you move from vertex to edges to faces, uh, it's really faster. So that's the great thing. The second thing is we've been working on was the Kiedra um, logic and I showed you uh, it already. Uh, I can show as well that uh, in unwrap UVW mode uh, the key key do something else. So I will just open with uh, one single key the unwrap UVW. So I used a Kiedra function. I press U and uh, it open the unwrap UVW. Here I will uh, unfold and as you can see now if I select just this and do Alt K uh, it break it break the the faces so I can detach it so that's super handy now if I'm in edge I can press the K key oh I need to fix this one so maybe it is not yet assigned because I was just moving to free two thousand and twenty yeah so we will fix it together so I will say no because I didn't set it yet, so I will uh, fix it with you. So I will just uh, right click on the K key, edit function. And here in this menu, I'm in unwrap UVW and in edge mode. And if I have one edge selected, so single tap, here it's written missing. Uh, what I want is to stitch, so I will do Here I will do copy, paste. So I right click copy and I copy and I right click here and paste. But um, you can you can search it here. That's the same menu than in the customized user interface from Autodesk. So now I save and if I have one edges selected and I press the K key, it's open the stitch dialog tool. So when I'm in face mode it detach, it breaks the sub object and when I have an edge selected it uh, it stitch. Okay now let's see if I'm in vertex mode what did I uh, assign? I assign uh, with Alt Shift Control K uh, with Shift K. Oh nothing yet I need to add it, so let's do it together. So I'm in vertex mode. Here I go in keyboard, modifier K, state. And uh, so, oh yeah, it was single tap. So if I single tap here, it, it welded everything. But this is not what I wanted, so I will just select this one and I will. Oh, still not. So maybe it is not the good. Uh, oh yes, that was not weld all shared. I need to select weld selector sh shared. So, and this time it's doing what we need. So uh, if I'm in face mode, I press Alt and it detach. If I'm in edge mode, I press K key, it stitch. And if I'm in vertex mode and press the K key, it weld. So that's really useful. That's really, really faster. So now we all we so the third thing we added is now we do have um, viewport display mode. So here I will just do my smoothing group. Uh, one smoothing group here, and if I do smooth group display. Here you can see that we do have just one color, but if I do it like that, so I now have more than one smoothing group, I can see my smoothing group inside Kiela. So I will now add the inset SG here. Up, inset SG, up, and. Um, as you can see, if I add the inset SG, uh, we see a nice, uh, a nice gradient. So, third thing we added 
uh, is the modifier menu. So inside Ki right now we do have a modifier menu and you can see all the modifiers we we do provide. So here I'm using the linear clone. I can just select the node and move it. And if I come here and add some nodes, I can go to last clone as well, which is really useful. Hop, hop, hop. And yeah, so uh, the four things was the modifier menu. And uh, let me show you something else. The last things for this video. Um, I will disable the display here. So last things I'll be showing you is the this. So I will call laser, laser cut. And um, I will just um, duplicate. No, I will maybe create a new box. So double tap. I have created this box and I will now um, pick this node and here the new thing is I will select this box and in the utilities I we do added some buttons and this button is really useful. So make cutter from selection. I will press it and as you can see here I was in subtract mode so this object is now um, it is now a subtract so let me before deactivate this so it is now a subtract uh, boolean shape and if I move here in my model it is now subtracting so if I let me duplicate with shift because Kyra is allowing it uh, as incense and like this we now have uh, other boolean shape. So now any model, any 3D mesh can become um, a boolean shape, a cutter, a laser cut cutter. So that's another thing we added. And now let me show you the last thing, then I will leave you for this one because we do have a lot of other things to show, but uh, they will be part of another video. So here I will just control invert, delete the cutters, and I will select do my smoothing group, select this polygon here, and uh, now with Kiaidra we can trigger any key as a, as a pie menu. So uh, here I will edit a C key and uh, I will add a case editable poly here. So if I'm in editable poly, I want to trigger the new Kiaidra tool. Uh, so on single tap it will be um, Kyra and uh, we added it to editable poly, poly edit and we made a cut rectangle shape and here I will add double tap as well so copy paste and this time it will be a handgun shape so and I wanted to show you as well that uh, we can execute now uh, Kiaidra function as pi menu so kind of pi menu so you just have to press here uh, learning mode it is not really obvious we will probably rename it to pi menu so I press it I save and now I will press the C key and as you can see, I have some. I have the pie menu that opened, and I will uh, select cut rectangle shape, and I can cut a shape. If I have uh, another, um, let's select this one. If I 
we press the C key and take the cut and gone shape. Here I can do an end gone. I can add segments with the scroll and I maintain the control and uh, once I release it, it is cut. So now I can shift K key, extrude, go back. I will do my smoothing group like this, delete those edges which are totally useless this one as well so up do the smoothing group up and now let's extrude this one smoothing group zero zero point five oh yeah that's good this time and uh, if I do unified it's smoother like this and if I select rounded proportional custom I can um, reduce here the, the shape and we do have a really nice shape